Um, it's a problem called anthropomorphizing when people project their emotions onto animals. Um, it's like, you know, when people are like, oh, my dog is mad at me because I left. Uh, that's usually not the case. Um, a lot of animals don't have the capacity that we do for emotions. So, same thing with the frog. Um, this frog, like, if you had to live in this enclosure, obviously not a realistic scenario because you couldn't fit, but if you had to be in here your whole life, which he won't be, he'll get a bigger enclosure when he gets bigger, but um, you'd be miserably depressed, right? But this frog buries himself underground for 10 months out of the year in the wild. Um, they don't need toys and they don't need plants and things to hide under and miles and miles to go. Uh, they don't do a whole lot. Um, so this enclosure is actually sufficient for his species and the way he experiences life. I hope that makes sense to you. Because I know it's a hard thing to wrap your head around. I've struggled with it plenty in the past as well. Sorry for the ad. I know subs don't see ads. The... <sighs> Makes perfect sense. Cool. It's kind of sad, though. I can empathize with, like, feeling sad for animals in captivity. Um, I, one thing, I mean, if you're going to note anything, I guess I could tell you that the animals that we have are all rescued and are non-releasable, um, either because they were born in captivity or because they're imprinted, like all of our parrots uh, or the chinchillas. I mean, they're bought from the pet trade. These aren't animals that can go be released into the wild. Um, so their options here are either euthanasia um, or we keep them in captivity as they're born in to be, and we do the best that we can to give them as much enrichment as possible, um, and as many opportunities to um, practice natural behaviors as possible. Take That's why for two months. this Let's enclosure we had custom built for the chinchillas by Mojo, That's it. Um, and we have all these shelves so they can climb, they can take their dust bath. And we can move all of these, too, to keep their life a little more interesting and change up the shelves so that it's different. These chinchillas also get out. People talk loud. Um, but, yeah. So, non-releasable exotic animals, uh, you know, the options are put them down or give them the best life possible in captivity and use them to teach people about why some of them Francis shouldn't be in the pet trade. $5.02. Sorry I was talking about the snake. I love what you do and admire its smile. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I know it's a hard thing to wrap your head around, but I hope that that makes sense. Ah, uh, dishes, no. God damn it, Ab now. Dish cam. Where's the bird? They're outside. We'll do these dishes. We did the snake vines. I don't really want to patch up the snake enclosure today because I need to go buy hay and I need to go to the bank before Dr. K today. Which I'm already barely gonna make it. Um, so we're just gonna do these dishes and then do a little walk around the property. I can show you the perimeter fence where it's at, and then uh, and then I'll end stream and then I'll be live again at 2 p.m. CT to talk to Dr. K. If they are released into the wild, they would either learn to fend for themselves or just follow the natural course.